All right, guys, leave a like on this video if you guys are excited for Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 because today we are reacting to two Chapter 3 teasers, or at least I think they're Chapter 3 teasers. So there's two videos uploaded by Mob Entertainment. One was a month ago, which I have not checked out just yet, and one just came out today. So basically, these videos are made to hype up Chapter 3. You know, there, there's no other reason why this should be uploaded in the first place. So uh, the first video is called Restore. Restricted Disappearance, June 18th, 1992. So this was uploaded 1992, or this clip was from 1992. And the second video, I think, is from 1995. So if there's any part of this video that I feel like is pause worthy, I will pause it. But other than that, let's get started. Make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this. But guys, when chapter three comes out, you already know I am playing it. Let's get started. I like how it's like videotape themed. Just like, you know, the We've VHS tapes we see. He's uh, heading south along the utility the game. vehicle route. What exactly do we do here? Um, okay, give us a second. So, they're on some sort of intercom with someone. So, they're following something. Experiment, wait, 1027 p.m. June 18th, 1992. Experiment 1170 exits the facility through an open delivery bay door in the production wing. Two staff members witnessed the incident and hit the emergency alarm. Whoa, this looks a little too real, guys. The CGI is getting a little too real. Oh my gosh, there it goes. There's Huggy Wuggy. Yo, why does it look so real? All available security staff and vehicles are mustered and begin pursuit of 7... So, 1170 is po uh, is Huggy Wuggy. By this time, 1170 was estimated to have traveled a half mile from the facility. So, they were following Huggy Wuggy in the car. Trying to figure out what to do. Like, what the heck do we do? How do we get to him? Brace yourselves. Huggy Wuggy is no... He's not easy to grab, man. He's a whole monster. He's a whole oh my god! How did I know there was gonna be a jump scare? Oh, shots fired, shots fired. Did they survive? Security team attempts to block and surround 1170 at a railroad crossing. Three rounds of tranquilizer darts are- <laughs> Those did not sound like tranquilizer darts, guys. And 1170 is hit once in the left leg. 1170 manages to flee into the woods. And this was eight minutes later. We're getting real-time updates from this night, June 18th. The next video we're going to be watching is three years in the future. The security team splits into small groups and continues after 1170 on fire. How are they not scared? Like, I get it, you're in a group, but still, it's still a small group. You should all stick together, you know? How are they getting all these shots, though? Oh my gosh, you see him! You saw him! He was, like, right here. And then now he's over there. The search... Oh, so this is, uh... 10.50 to 3.38 a.m. Oh, once it hit that 3 a.m. mark, you should have went home. The search area expands over four square miles, extending into nearby residential areas. Oh my goodness. Some of these neighbors, not looking too good. Innocent people are gonna be hurt. Outside of the effective range, the security team's radios become unreliable. They're a little too far away. 11.33 p.m. Okay. We're getting real-time footage of what happened. Why is there blood everywhere? Is that a deer? Holy crap. Huggy Wuggy needed a snack. He just tore apart this deer. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Is everything gonna be okay? Oh jeez. At least they recover the footage, right? During the search, several staff are killed by 1170. Even more go missing. And they blur out the dead bodies. Unfortunate. I would hate to work at a facility like theirs. Man, that's unfortunate. They created 1170, right? Five dead and six missing from to total casualties. Yo, <laughs> I hope this isn't. These aren't like real people's uh, faces that they use. It's like, hey, uh, could could we use your face for our video? Oh my goodness, poor people. Hopefully, these are all AI generated faces. You know. <laughs> That sounds rough. I'm glad they kept the footage, though. I'm glad, you know, some of the footage was, uh, um, uh, what, what is it called? Collected? It takes nearly four hours to relocate and sedate 1170. So they, so they eventually got back to him. How 1170 was able to access the ventilation, uh, system without security's realization is beyond me. That's right. The first game, he was running after us in the vents. It is only blind. 
luck that we oh blind luck that we found him before somebody else did and it cost us lives the innovation department is not happy i am not happy oh uh, there there he is late pierre playtime co head of innovation unfortunate five people died 3:38 a.m wait hold on and this was the day after what are we looking at here is he standing right there Oh, that really is him standing right there in front of a house. In front of a random, innocent homeowner's house. This next video takes place on August 8th, 1995. Three years after the first escape of Huggy Wuggy. Let's see what happens. Tape contains unexpected footage tampered by third-party destroy tape. Wait, what? W what did that say? Bigger Bodies Relocation Guide. Do not continue viewing this tape. Playtime Co. Employee training number six. Bigger bodies relocation guide. Property of Playtime Co. Step one. Retrieve giant from storage B. Relocation guide. Okay. Uh, training, training tape. Ah, we got the giant huggy wuggy just standing there. Hey, big guy. Oh, that's not Huggy Wuggy. That's Kissy Missy. Hey there. Safely secure the giant. All right. Well, it's a good thing they uh, tied it up and everything. Tied her up. Um. So you. Oh, this, the these are the instructions. You gotta you know put her on a board. Uh, four of these. You know the bungee strings and whatnot. You tie her up. Boom. Four steps. That's all you need. You need one giant. Low giant onto train. Step three. Oh, there's a train from chapter two. Loading her up. Step four. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What just happened? Step four. Consult the bigger body's handbook for contingency plans. And then all of a sudden, loosen the straps, binding the giant. What just happened? It's glitching out. 10.42 a.m. Uh-oh. She's gonna start freaking out. She's gonna be like, let me out. Inform the conductor of the intended route. Okay, we're on our way. We've been on this train before. You and I together. We've been on this train before, before it crashed at the end of chapter two. Okay. Keep watch of giant. Release the straps. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. She's smiling right now, but that smile's not gonna last forever. Release the straps. Deliver giant to new location. Holy crap, how fast is this train going? Change! 10.59 a.m. My goodness, this train is going like 120 miles per hour. Go! Go, slow down! Uh-oh. Oh my gosh, dude. Holy crap, how fast did they just go? We got staff members dead on the floor. Footage missing? Yo! What the heck, dude? What just happened? Guys, this is actually hyping me up for chapter 3. And I think that was their goal. And well, they succeeded. Let me know down below your own theories down below in the comments. Like, what was the point of these two videos? Like, I'm sure they're gonna have something to do with chapter 3. We've seen chapter 1, chapter 2 of the actual game. Like, we've played through it. Chapter 1 had something to do with Huggy Wuggy. Chapter 2 had something to do with Kissy Missy. And at the end of chapter 2, we crash our train and well we're still stuck inside of playtime co just just when we thought we were about to escape so let me know down below i will be reading the comments thanks for watching this video you guys i will see you guys next time make sure you guys leave a like subscribe because we're on the road to 2 million subscribers so i appreciate it you guys next time all right Peace.